We have just spent the last couple of weeks exploring a small part of India. We started in Delhi, exploring the bustling streets of Old Delhi is and visiting beautiful places dotted around the city. We then hopped over to Agra to marvel at the glorious Taj Mahal. Amazing, huh? Amazing. With a quick trip to Agra Fort. Then it was on to Jaipur and Pushka to witness the Diwali celebrations. Whoa. To where we are now, in Udaipur where we've just spent a few days here recuperating from a horrific illness and volunteering our time at an animal shelter. Despite the craziness India brings This is insane. <gasps> and juggling that with the sickness that we couldn't shift, we still thoroughly enjoyed our time in India. It's very different to what we're used to even with living in Sri Lanka. And we will for sure be back to explore more of India very soon. But it's time we head back home and we are so excited to get back to Sri Lanka. Before we embark on our journey back home, we first have to take a flight from Udaipur to Chennai, where we then have a couple of days to explore before getting on the last flight of the trip. Okay, well, the last couple of weeks have been a complete struggle for us. We have two days left in India and we are still ill, but we're at the point where we can walk around and go and explore. It was day two of us arriving. It was day two of us being in India where we both fell sick and we've never both been sick together this bad for so long so it was really hard for us to do our schedule that we had planned for India in the short amount of time plus all the filming and everything that we wanted to get done so it's definitely hello, hello. it's definitely not been how we planned but we've tried to make the most of it and have been pushing on getting all the filming done and trying to explore as much as possible through our illness which has probably prolonged it to be honest but I wanted to get all the videos for the Diwali festival especially anyway now we've got two days left and we're so so excited to go back home go back to Sri Lanka I cannot wait for some familiarity for some normality like I know what food I can eat I can speak some of the language enough to get by and it's a lot cleaner than it is in India so anyway let's try to push on with one more day of exploring tomorrow is going to be a work day and we're going to be exploring the busy crazy streets of Chennai mindset today I think it's because of this illness like it's just really frustrating me now that I'm still not a hundred percent normal in myself so I was thinking that exploring Chennai today I'd probably really not enjoy it but the first 30 minutes have actually been really enjoyable we are 20 minutes walk from Georgetown so we just walked past the like the outskirts of the streets of that and that's actually gonna be the first place we go to explore today because it's a lively market. It's gonna be awesome, I feel it now. I've seen all the fruit, it looks amazing. We're gonna go grab some food now at one of the nearby vegetarian places and then get to exploring. Find the money. We have found it so hard whilst traveling in India to get cash out of the ATMs. I'm not sure if it's because we're using a Sri Lankan bank card and 
the banks just don't like that here i'm not too sure but there's a very minimal amount of atms that we've been able to get cash out of so the majority of our time has been spent walking around trying so many different atms trying to get some money out and it's like a massive massive stress to not have any money even like the littlest of bit of money but now money have let's hit up the market we have just been walking around georgetown and we saw this little street that was super super busy i was like oh cool a little market let's go have a look and oh my oh my god oh, oh my god there's just like abuse everywhere there's like so many people selling like birds fish in plastic bags look at this oh my god there's chickens everywhere there's like chickens for meat there's puppies there's kittens like pedigrees that everyone's just buying on the side of the street this is absolutely crazy to me that this is happening like right in the road I don't know how we've happened to be in this street with like all of the animal abuse like it's completely opposite to what we believe in like a massive lorry just went past us where they cram all the chickens and they are literally killing the chickens right here why are we even here like this is worst place that we could be. Look, look at all these chickens. Look at all of this. They're killing a chicken on the side of the road right now. Oh my god, this is horrific. How people can treat animals in such a horrendous way, I do not understand. This is insane. Oh my god, they're killing another chicken. I think I'm either gonna faint or throw up. I've just seen so much torture in the space of two minutes walking. I don't know how we got like onto that road. That was just the worst thing I think I've ever seen in my life. How do you feel? So bad. Like I was like super pumped to start exploring the markets. It's all of them and animals. Yes. Yeah, it. and then it literally just the majority just turned into like even that guy's cleaning his shop where he's just killed loads of chickens. I'm sorry to be negative, but I don't understand how people live in such filth. Like where their shops are, where their homes are, it's just covered in plastic and rubbish. I don't know what else. Now we're in our kind of area. We're surrounded by vegetable shops and lots of lovely cows. <laughs> Onwards to Fort St. George. Okay, so our next stop, our next stop we've come to Fort St. George and we've now been to, this will be the third gateway, which will hopefully be the entrance. There's like so many police barriers up. Okay, so we've made it to Fort St. George and i think we just met the nicest security guard ever he even closed our bag himself <laughs> never experienced that before whenever we come to visit a fort i always imagine it to be like ghoul fort which is really beautiful we really love the ghoul fort it's like our hometown but every fort we come to doesn't look like it so i don't know what we do here like it's not really somewhere you can just walk around where there's shops I'm not really sure what to do here. I don't know why I put this on our list of things to do whilst in Chennai, but let's see. <laughs> we just spent some time in the Fort Museum, which was quite unexpected, but we learned a lot, I think. About 200, 300 year ago life here in the Fort and the surrounding area. Now we're heading to St. Mary's Church. Apparently the oldest British building in India, St. Mary's Church was constructed in the late 1600s and known as the Westminster Abbey of the East. It would have been interesting to see it from the inside, but unfortunately it was closed when we were there. 
So just saw it briefly from the outside. So I think our time in Fort St. George is finished. There's not really much to see and do here. You can't really walk around. There's the museum and there's St. Mary's Church to have a look at, but the church is closed today and there's just not really much going on here. So I think we're gonna head out, find a drink because we're so thirsty, it's so hot, very humid. We're used to the dryness from the north now. So now we've got to climatize back to the humidity. And yeah, let's grab a drink and then head to our next destination, which I'm not too sure where it is. We need to figure it out, have a look on the map and see if we can find a taxi, a tuk-tuk, an Uber, whatever. We next headed to this beautiful Hindu temple, which I'm not going to try to pronounce the name of. We're not having much luck on our Chennai tour here, as this temple was also closed at the time we got there. So we just marveled at it from the outside, staring up at its magnificent 37 meter high tower. So colorful and inspiring. Another stop on our little tour of bustling Chennai was this beautifully stunning cathedral. So white, clean and eye-catching. A complete contrast to the streets that surround it. Built by the Portuguese and then later rebuilt by the British, this 16th century cathedral is said to hold the remains of St. Thomas. We timed it right to witness a service whilst gazing up at the beautiful stained glass windows and architecture. <laughs> This almost 13 kilometer beach is named Marina Beach, where flocks of people come to dip their toes in the Bay of Bengal and spend time with their families splashing in the ocean. We stopped here for a moment to just watch the world go by and see the antics that go on here. Have you ever had a McDonald's? Domus. You don't know what McDonald's is? No. You don't know what McDonald's is? No Domus. No Domus. <laughs> we have woken up to a very rainy day here in Chennai. We fly home. Hi. We fly home tomorrow back to Sri Lanka and I am so, so excited. I cannot wait to step foot on Sri Lankan soil, honestly. But today is like an admin day for us. We haven't had anything planned. I just want to get work done because we're super behind with video editing and emails and everything. But we also have a really important thing to do. When we were in Agra, we went to one of the ATMs and two times the ATM froze and didn't dispense us the cash but took the money out of our bank account so that's kind of screwed us over actually and so now we're on the way to one of the bank branches to try and get this problem sorted before we leave the country tomorrow it's really really rainy <laughs> Okay, so we've just visited one of the branches to see if we can do a complaint and try to get our solution for this problem. But they cannot help us even though it's one of the banks. <laughs> so they've just sent us to go up the road to find another bank branch to file a complaint and see if they can help us solve this problem. Oh my goodness, this is such a stress. Like it's not even a small amount of money, it's quite a lot and it was two times. So like we don't want to leave India tomorrow to go back to Sri Lanka and not have our money and for them to just keep our money, you know, because 
that's not correct and they should be able to help us fix it so fingers crossed we're gonna get this sorted and the rain has stopped but we didn't get it sorted so we bought some freshly roasted peanuts and made our way back to our hotel for lunch today we just come to this vegetarian place it's self-service we've never done this before got paper dosa and i've just been up here at where the kitchen is where they're preparing everything just watching all the guys two weeks pretty much for the whole of our India trip we still really enjoy traveling around India we've made so many memories it's been absolutely awesome we've been to so many places and got to see the Diwali festival but we're really excited to go home see our dogs be in our own bed and get on to doing some more renovations I think yeah it's good I work here in your house yeah there's a lot of work to do I'm we're really excited, excited. yeah I'm excited. Yeah, you're excited to go back to Sri Lanka? Yeah, I'm really, really excited. Yeah, let's go.
Oh my goodness.